How much was dessert? 110 lek. How much is that? Uh, less than a dollar Canadian. Uh, no, it's not less than a dollar. How much was dessert? How much was dessert? About 80 cents Canadian. And you're a fucking accountant. How much was dessert? <laughs> 100 and... <laughs> what the fuck? Good morning from Toronto, Albania. We're just uh, walking up through the the bazaar here. They're still setting up all the shopkeepers. We're on the hunt for Burak. Right, we're coming up on the pastry place here, the breakfast bakery. Let's see what we got here. Mm, looks pretty good to me. So there's a wide variety of Burak that you can buy. The thin ones. Uh, that we get in the morning. The thin triangle ones usually are like 50, 40, 50 lek. But uh, you can get a more substantial one which is more filling. So that burek was uh, pretty good. At uh, three times the price, you're getting certainly three times the amount of pastry and filling. Jesus. So we're going to the art gallery here, some kind of art gallery if we survive getting down this road here. Okay, art gallery, not so much. It's closed, they're setting up a new exhibit, so we won't be going there today. Guess we'll just have to entertain ourselves here with some of the action in the city. Here's one of Sarah's favorite things. This is the uh, ice cream people, or the gelato. So that's 80 lek for one scoop and a cup. Less than a euro. Each of us are gonna give you our pros and cons that we see specific to Tirana, Albania, and whether or not we could live here. So first we're gonna get Sarah to list out the pros of Tirana, Albania. So first of all, it's a very green city, including the Grand Park, uh, and it's very walkable. Um, secondly, it's got all the big city amenities. You can find whatever you need in a fairly short radius. And it's got a great energy. It reminds me a lot of New York City. There's a lot of hustle and bustle and people are always uh, walking around to get somewhere. All right, so that's a lot of good stuff Sarah has to say about the pros. So let's hear what she has to say about the cons of Tirana, Albania. Uh, on the con side, there's a, there's a lot of traffic and uh, other noise in the city. It's not quiet. Um, and there's a lot of cigarette smoke. It's more expensive than I imagine some of the other places will be in Albania. And uh, other than, you know, walking around, looking at the trees and going to the Grand Park, you have to leave the city to hike or that sort of thing. Well, those are some great observations. It'll be interesting to see you know, kind of how mine compare to that. Okay, so here we now have Jay with his list of pros and cons. So Jay, what are the pros of Toronto, Albania? Well, I, I've got a few pros for Toronto, Albania. So uh, my first pro is that just the sheer variety of places uh, where you can shop for food. I mean, within a small walking distance of where we've been staying, uh, there's just countless places where you can go buy fresh fish, fresh meat, fresh vegetables. Uh, anything you want that's fresh is around here. Uh, there's also supermarkets just around the corner. Yeah, even if you can't see them, they're there. If you walk a few blocks, you'll find them. So uh, lots of options for shopping. Uh, my second pro is that this is a, a great place for people watching. I mean, there's people out all the time, uh, families, single people, kid, you know, families with their kids in strollers, motorbikes, scooters, you name it. Like, you can just sit on a patio and watch the people that live here. Uh, it's great for people watching. Uh, and my third pro is that there's really enough stuff to do here uh, to keep you kind of entertained for a long period of time, right? I mean, four days that we've been here just scratches the surface. Uh, we've been in a few neighborhoods. I mean, we've already been here to do all the touristy stuff before, um, but you know, uh, there's so much to the city that we don't even know. And if you lived here for a long, long time, you'd still never see it all. So those are my pros. And what about the cons, Jay? So I don't have too many cons. I have two cons, and I think these are probably standard things that most people would observe. Um, so the number one con that I have is cigarette smoke. I mean, 
you know, I'm an ex-smoker, so I know what it's like to smoke, but uh, this place is really, really uh, overcome with cigarette smoke. I mean, you can be in your apartment on the second floor, uh, away from a restaurant, and your place will smell like smoke because it wafts in. And uh, people smoke here from morning till late at night. Uh, that's part of the culture. I mean, they, they sit at cafes and smoke, smoke, smoke. Uh, many times I've been walking around and I just get a headache. Um, because you're just constantly inhaling the secondhand smoke. So that's a con. Uh, the, other, the other con uh, was one that Sarah listed as well, and that is just the general noise. I mean, uh, this is a capital city. Uh, it's a big city, um, but there's a couple of things that are really sort of, uh, you know, for me anyways, distinct. Like, ter people in Toronto love honking their car horn. Like, they, they honk their car horn, like, uh, unnecessarily, from my perspective, right? Like, it's just... It, it's just it's the honking's overdone I don't get it but you know what um, it's part of I mean it does make it kind of a fun place uh, but, but it just kind of gets annoying right but overall the pros outweigh the cons Sarah could you live in Tirana Albania I could definitely live here I think uh, we, we would have to choose uh, somewhere to live that was on, off on a quiet side street that would be very important to reduce some of the the city noise but I, I love the proximity of all the shopping um, I could keep busy for ages just wandering around the little side streets of the neighborhood and I think you could live here for 10 years and never explore them all it's uh, it's a great place so Jay what's your opinion do you think you could live in Tirana could I live in Tirana yeah I think from <laughs> I'd have to be away from that you see <laughs> all day long in this city right so uh, I could live here. I would really like to live here. Uh, I would live. I would need to live in a place that's a little more remote to the city center. Hopefully, it would be a bit more quiet. Tirana has a lot going for it, and uh, so yes, the answer is I could live here. <laughs> Just in case you can't find it, that's to remind you that it's actually like right around the. You just go that way and around the block. You live. Okay, we're gonna go there. Hang on. Three meters by three meters. You go here, here, and whoop, there it is. <laughs> in case you can't figure that one out. That's the kind of car you want in Albania. Everybody else has tried to bring their car in there and couldn't park, and this guy just brought his smart car in there and parked in about 10 seconds. That looks like a tourist freight train. Albania is really on the rise. Their tourism numbers are up. But uh, that's quite the uh, cattle call of people showing up. Sarah had a sweet tooth and she has dessert sorted for us tonight. Okay, take three. Sarah, how much was dessert? $1.50 Canadian for both or just over a euro. That's much better. It looks like it's going to be yummy. Well, my name's Jay. And I'm Sarah. And we're a couple of Canadians traveling around Albania for a while. We're in the process of retiring early. We're quitting our jobs, selling our stuff, we're planning to move around the world. We're looking for a place maybe call our long-term home. So if you like what we're doing, hit the like and subscribe button. It'll really help us out. Thanks for joining us.